So we're watching the quarterfinals. Washington Capitals Sports Club versus Lodi Zalme. And we're here outside of Houston, policy. The bolo is in this year. Score is 11 for 2. Janaid not yet off the mark. Buran on 1. Hello, testing, testing, testing. I'm seeing that moving, so testing. Testing, testing.
Testing. Testing. Yeah. David, speak. Testing, testing, testing. Testing. Testing, testing. Got it now. Okay, we got it now. Probably a D. Yeah. No, I did it quite a few times. Anything. Yeah, which is just expand. I tried both. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no, this okay. is. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Washington Capital Sports Club. Versus Loda is Zalmi. Whilst we still try to work out the uh, sound issues, um, you may or may not be hearing uh, David. It doesn't. It seems that we're having an issue with that mic. Twelve for the loss of three wickets. So Loda is Zalmi has actually gotten off to a great start here. Oh, slow ball came up to like a perfect height for hitting, and he made no mistake. And that was six runs added to the total, so 19 for three. You're not hearing me? Destin, one, two, three. Say something.
Testing, testing. Early part of the day. Successive sixes. Last night. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's the Bring in a this tournament. Looking at the Every about all about so you get <laughs> so Mohammed a coming in to bowl and to the left handed Orhan who's on twenty six and it's forty two for three with that singlet goes up to four three as this first quarter final gets on the way. The winner of this game, of course, will go into the semifinals to be played almost immediately after. Oran on 27, Hassan on 5, the first USA Table Championship as Mohamed A comes running. Six runs taken off of him so far in this first over. And good ball, batsman swings and misses and goes through to the keeper who appeals, hopefully. Hope is dead. So, sure it's hot, but it's otherwise um, beautiful skies, farmland here outside of uh, Houston. Wamide comes running. Another good ball there, and as his teammates yells, "Good over Hassan." I guess the A stands for a son.
So a little bit of breeze there. Occasionally it kicks up a bit, which is a relief to us here uh, from the heat. Of course, we're not in the actual sunshine like the players are. We don't also have the actual satisfaction of playing. So it's even farmland, cotton, and that's a large farm outside of the two fields here at the Issa Cricket Club and Multisports Complex. It's kind of, um, much as we enjoy the cricket under the lights, and of course it was cooler, and it has a gorgeous look under the lights. In the daytime, it's actually easier to see the ball for the commentators. There were many times when the ball would be hit, I wouldn't know where it went. But I can definitely see it a bit now. In fact, I can see it so clearly I want to go bat. Maybe I'll score some runs. This is Omar. Omar comes running left arm, and he's trying out his uh, run-up and delivery. So the reason you're not hearing David right now, we do have some sound issues with his mic. We'll figure out something um, shortly because it's uh, quite interesting having his perspectives on commentary. Left arm, Omar drops it short. What a lovely hook. Lifting the one leg a bit and sending it for six runs over the mid-wicket area. So... Lovely shot, and that was Borhan, yes, 33 off of 15. We're in the seventh over. So the scoring has generally been slow, only 7.95 is the run rate. And so even though we've seen some good shots, this is definitely not a scoring rate that will make the batting team happy. We see the flags fluttering. That's the U.S. flag, fairly close behind the line of the batsman, the Pakistan flag, and I believe that's the Australian flag. Strong at that bunker, so got an edge and went straight through to the keeper, and you could hear the yells of catch it, uh, so he had no choice. Perhaps he was thinking of doing something else, but... With his teammates yelling, catch it. That was it. He had his instructions. This is the first USA Tape Ball Cricket Championship. And it's being played in Texas. So, 49 for 4, and like I said, we've been having some sound issues, so you probably won't be hearing David. Hopefully you can hear me. Mohamed S., the new batsman. Facing his first delivery. 
and send the clap in the distance. So far, we've been undisturbed by rain, so hopefully we can keep it that way. As Umar comes running, drops it short, but doesn't get the bounce he probably would have expected, which is probably a good thing because that would have gone way over the batsman's head. And he's also not the tallest of uh, batsmen, so avoided a wide there. Another one true to the keeper. So good over by Umar. His first six runs came off of it and he got a wicket. He got a wicket of the danger man. B Buran. Who is going great runs. He had taken, he made 35 out of 49 runs scored by the team so far in seventh over. So this is um, a disappointing performance by the Washington Capitals batsmen. Only 49 in their seven overs so far, run rate of seven. Need to double that for tape ball cricket. So in order to get with three overs left, if they could put, to get 60, runs of the next three overs that would give them uh, a bit of a total to work with but still not a high total so off to our left is the tractor end as I like to say that's where the tractor is parked in front of the house pulling towards the cotton field end Batting from the cotton field end. And the bowler will be Mohammed A. Mohammed Asan. So we'll call him Asan. Asan comes running. A ball zipped through, keeping relatively low. Batsman swung at it and didn't get hold of it. So Washington Capitals Sports Club, as it indicates, is from Washington, D.C. And Zaid Islam came down with the team. Zaid is a fairly well-known personality. And if you get the chance later, we'll chat with him. But he's also playing, so that makes, it, uh, makes him a busy man. Here comes Hassan. Hassan, right arm, delivers. He plants that uh, left foot and puts a lot into it, his delivery. And so... Sort of a typical um, fast ball delivery style. Here he comes, right arm, smooth run up, delivers again, and this one off the back foot in the air. Will he be caught? Yes, on the cover boundary. So the fifth wicket down here for Washington Capital Sports Club. And Lodi Zalmi is feeling good. Well, feeling great right now, but their chances of making it, is, making it into the semis. A bit of breeze right now, as you can see from the flags waving, fluttering in the wind. So both batsmen are on zero. One is Mohammed B, the other one is Mohammed S, and Mohammed A is bowling. And at some point we'll bring on David. Uh, 
if we get the other microphone fixed we'll be on sooner than some point Fifty for five. A hot summer Sunday in Texas. It's the left handed Mohammed B on strike as Mohammed A comes running. Good ball going through to the on the offside with a swinging batsman missing. So the bowlers of Washington Capitals will have a tough task uh, at this rate with 51 for 5 and just two overs left. Even hoping for 20 runs in each over would only put them at 91. And of course getting 20 runs in over is not the easiest thing to do when the bowling is this good. So I, of course, came in from New York. I'm Lloyd, Lloyd Judah, and David Sentence came in from Los Angeles. After having spent uh, a few days in Oregon, so he's now in the center of the country, having uh, traversed the western coast he drove from Oregon to California. So unless he, uh, he has other plans, though, I don't think he's um, heading to Florida right now. And then New York, and this is miss hit by the batsman. Can't get the ball away. No run. A nice looking shot. He got up on his toe uh, over that one and cracked it through the covers. Of course, being a ball along the ground, it won't travel to the boundary because the tape ball being light is held up by grass. This is not a tarmac or concrete surface. So. One of the best shots I've seen so far today. 54 for 5, left arm. Oh, and this one is hit up in the air a bit and then yep. along the ground again. So that's been also an issue for the Washington Capitals batsmen. They have not been connecting well, if at all. And you don't connect well in the ball. And the ball goes along the ground, it's not going to get you a boundary or six. Ninth over, 56 for 5. Umar has taken one wicket for 11 runs so far. 
He's bowling to the left-handed Mohammed B, who picks it up and hooks it. Doesn't get a hold of it. Another example of not hitting the ball. And so, doesn't get a lot of bang for the buck there. As a matter of fact, there was hardly any bang. So it would be unreasonable to get a lot of bucks when the bangs themselves were efficient. Omar F. Yeah, I mean, when we have our torn, when we have our tournaments, we gotta uh, actually drag the guys off the field. <laughs> A bit of rain doesn't stop them. So it's the left arm, uh, Mohammed S on strike. He's on two. Omar. This is not Omar, this should be somebody else. Omar has finished his two overs. Hamid, Hamid is at 25 runs off of him. So he's felt the hammer. And there we go. Mohammed is not having, sorry, Hamid is not having the best day. The second ball he gets hit for six. So let's see. Hamid comes in again. What we'll do to counter this? Up in the air, will somebody catch it? Does. And Hamid gets some reward for his labors and for feeling the sticks. So he gets a wicket. So 31 for 1 is significantly better than 31 or 33 without any wickets. Quite a bit more wind right now, which is nice for us here in terms of the coolness that it brings. Because after all, all we are is dust in the wind. And there's your punctuation. <laughs> Some more punctuation. <laughs> yeah, we're dancing to the beat of a different drum here. He's going looking for a double wicket there. <laughs> Caught the ball off the batsman who was going down the wicket and then played over the ball and then tried to run out the non striker. I, I'm not sure if the. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the batsman didn't realize it. Oh, so quick thinking there by the wicket keeper. Well, it's certainly quicker than the batsman. <laughs> Sometimes you need assistance in understanding what's happening. I think that's a feature we'll have to add, David. <laughs> but what happens if, <laughs> if both people <laughs> are totally unaware of what's going on? I can think of one instance. <laughs> Another left-hander, the wicket. 
six to five for six with three deliveries left. Hamid is feeling a little better. He's taking a wicket to make up for giving away 33 runs. Yeah, here he comes, right arm. High action. This hope he's been bowling pretty good most for the most part. And that's one reason for him getting a wicket. He's got good pace. And the timing is off for these um, Capitals batsmen. Oh, there he goes. His second wicket. So, Hamid is cleaning up, as they say. Mr. Clean. Hamid Clean with a K. Two wickets for third three runs. Immensely better than no wicket for third three runs. And we've seen this fairly often, a, bats, a bowler taking the stick in one over and doing well, getting dot balls and or wickets in his other over. Certainly good for your state of mind, a psychological boost. Here he comes, right arm. Gets, a, gets it down to a long leg, and that'll be four. Sort of between long leg and back with a square, and that four added to the total, takes it to seven to three. And that's the end of their innings. Nada, that was Sonny getting that four, by the way. Mohammed B ends the innings on 12. And Hamid, two for 37. So, Not a good enough effort here in the batting for Washington Capitals. So, they'll have a tough time defending this. So, join us back in a minute or two when the Washington Capitals take the field to defend their um, score of 69 for 7, which will be very difficult. And this is, of course, uh, Loda Zalmi's turn to bat. Uh, we'll have David give his thoughts on the innings. Thanks, Lloyd. Um, when, I, when they opened up today, they, had, they opened up with a very fast bowling attack that took uh, three wickets for within the first 20 runs. So that really uh, rocked the uh, Washington Capitals at that point. And uh, from that time, they weren't really able to recover. And then they, the, the bowling from Lodi was quite varied and quite effective. And of course, the conditions were, were changing as well. They, they didn't bring on spin bowlers; they just kept the, the pressure on. And the fielding was quite good too from Nodi. So they looked like a real contender for this uh, first quarter final. <laughs> 